those strange houses today, huh? And, uh, a mirage bonsai? Oh, basically, lots of weird stuff today. Um, do you think we should tell Venti about it? There's no answer. That's weird. Why is he ignoring us? Maybe he got distracted. <gasps> or he forgot to bring the bomb to his performance. <gasps> or he got drunk and fell asleep under that huge tree. Hmm. Maybe we should try contacting him tomorrow. Traveler, Paimon. So here you are. Mona! <laughs> are you all done chatting with Fischl? <laughs> Close enough. She was a little downcast. I think it has something to do with the mirage we saw today. Fischl has been very excited about this trip from the start, but I have a feeling she doesn't want to see her own mirage. Why? It seems like this would be the kind of thing she really enjoys! I'm not sure at this stage, but I'll keep an eye on her. There's something else I wanted to tell you. I tried performing a divination again on the beach. My scry glass was still blurry, but I felt a force coming from within. I couldn't see its exact position, but I knew that it was changing. How could you tell that if you couldn't see it clearly? Hmm, how can I explain this concept to non-experts? Oh, I know. It's like we're uh, sitting in a room and there's a crack in the walls. We don't know where it is, but everyone can feel the wind rushing in. Not only that, but the room is getting colder. Oh, Paimon gets it now. So you want to find where that crack is, right? You could say that. I need to see the crack first before deciding what to do next. It seems like similar things happen every time I'm with you. I'll attempt divination, read the signs, zero in on the target, then solve the problem. You're surrounded by all kinds of friends, secrets, and destinies. It's incredible. No, you are incredible! You helped Fischl and us solve that Leonard situation! All things considered, I suppose. Let's hope we can all stick together and resolve this, like we did last time. When you say together, do you mean the two of you? Or all three of us? <laughs> okay, okay, the three of us then. Sometimes Paimon offers an insightful perspective that can be very helpful to me. Really? Aww, Paimon's starting to like you a lot, genius astrologist Mona! Yes, that's the perspective I'm talking about. You'll never meet another astrologist as clever and charming as me. <laughs> yeah, everything about you is great. Except for, um, please don't laugh like Fischl again. Ever. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> Friends' habits rub off on you when you spend a lot of time together, don't they? <laughs> uh. I'll keep observing the stars. Keep in touch, Traveler. <laughs> <laughs>